Hello friends and welcome to Hiller at Home. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my recipe for making baked red tilapia which I buy from Costco and I'll make it along with some vegetables and this is one of our favorite meals particularly as the weather becomes warmer I do introduce a lot more seafood into our diet a lot more fish I aim for about one to two times a week so let's get cooking with this so the first thing that I have done is I've prepped the vegetables that I have. Green beans are currently in season in England at the moment, so they're always lovely to have. I like the color from the red peppers. And by the way, you can work with any vegetables that you have going in your fridge at the time. And I also use some red onions because they add a lovely sweetness when they're caramelized by oven baking. And the idea is that I'm just trying to make a bed for the fish to be baked on. It's like a bed of vegetables. And to that, I'm also adding some carrots that I have batoned. I've tried uh, carrot discs in the past, but batons, I think, work a lot better with fish. Don't ask me why. And I'm trying to use up the garlic that I have. So I just smashed a couple of garlic cloves on there just to add a bit more flavor. Now for the marinade, I'm using some sea salt, some paprika, and paprika will add a lovely smoky flavor and color. And I'm using some garlic powder as well as some olive oil and some dried parsley. And I'll use my basic proportions is one tablespoon of the salt, one tablespoon of the garlic powder added to that. And then I'll also add one tablespoon of the paprika as well as one tablespoon of the parsley. You can always add more depending on which of those elements you like best, but I do find that it gives it a lovely umami flavor. And then I will just add roughly about four tablespoons of olive oil in order to be able to spread the marinade over all the fish. And then I'm just going to whisk that together. Sometimes I have added chili powder to this when I wanted to have a bit of a kick, but it's not always necessary. And my kids don't like fish with chili on it for some reason. So whilst we have the marinade just uh, steeping for a while, I'm prepping the fish and I've just washed the fish, just sort of rinsed it around under some cold water. And I'm using a paper towel to dab it dry. And you do want to make sure that you remove as much water from the surface as is possible because we want that marinade to stick to the skin and make it really lovely and crunchy when we bake it. And that also includes in um, the belly of the fish there because we are also going to put this marinade in there. And then the next thing is to slice into the flesh uh, three or four and that will allow the flavors from the marinade to really sip into the fish and give it a really beautiful flavor. And this is something I always do whenever I'm uh, roasting any fish in the oven. So with that said, we then place it on that bed of vegetables. And then we're going to grab the marinade and using my pastry brush, I will then proceed to paint the fish. I always think there's something so artistic about doing baked fish because you have your canvas which is the bed of vegetables and then you put the fish on and then you have to finish off by putting in the broad strokes of the marinade. <laughs> um, but yeah there's always fun in the kitchen isn't there? And what I also like to do is to make sure that I get the marinade into the belly of the fish as well and that will just make sure that the flavor is all in encompassing. Um, personally, for me, tilapia is not one of my favorite fishes to have. I do find that the meat in terms of just by itself, it's not very flavorsome. And I find that it is one of the best to do a marinade like this and put it into the oven. And so we want to make sure that everything, every part is completely covered over by that. And we're just going to pop that in to the oven at 180 degrees fan assisted. And I'll set it for 17 minutes. And this is the halfway cooking point because we're going to take it out and put some more marinade in there. 
And in the meantime, the accompaniment, the potatoes and the cauliflower for me are getting ready. So this is the halfway point after 17 minutes. I take it out and then put on some more of the marinade and it's just on the top this time. And this will add an extra crunchiness to the skin as well as extra flavor. And by this point, everything is smelling so good and Oh, I cannot wait. This is one of my favorite meals and the kids love this as well. And so once we've done the second marinade, it goes back into the oven again for another uh, 15 to 17 minutes. And this is what it looks like when it comes out. The vegetables are nicely uh, al dente cooked. That's to say that they have a little bit of crunch in them, but they are mostly cooked. The red onions are really lovely and sweet as well as the red peppers and the carrots will have absorbed some of the fish flavors that went into the vegetables and it's very tasty and so here it is served up at the table baked fish on a bed of vegetables with some potatoes to accompany and cauliflower for me as i'm trying very much to keep on a um a keto low carb uh, diet that's it. Thank you so much for joining with us uh, on this video. I hope that you found the video useful and entertaining. And until I see you next time, I wish you blue skies, health and happiness. Bye.